Hello, hope you're all well. Hope you've been uh, training hard this past week. For where where are we now? We're four weeks out, I think, from the Rome meet, which is uh, yeah, getting getting close now. I feel like we're in the in the thick of training, in the midst of all that. We're, uh, we're probably yeah, it'll probably be I don't know two and a half, two weeks maybe, and a tapering in. So. Yeah, I mean, we'll put it like that. There's only there's only probably a couple of weeks until until it's taper time. That's that's quite exciting. Got the England flag back up. Wonder if I managed to find some hooks. That's uh, yeah, hook, hooked up now, which is which is pretty good. Filming this on my phone because uh, I would do it on the GoPro normally. Yeah, we'll see what the what the quality is like. Uh, to be fair, I think the phone quality is probably better. But uh, my GoPro's stopped working. Yeah, essentially. So, on the session we're gonna kind of have in the background today was like uh, the, the I just know that was when I saw the back screen just wasn't working, so I had to uh, um, send it send it back to them and uh, get they'll they'll get a replacement out to me at some point. It should be good. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So. Uh, yeah. Kind of what we what we're gonna have a look at today is um, it's the Wednesday morning session. So it's and it's kind of a session that we've not really seen before. Um not not seen before, but we don't spend a lot of time really talking about aerobic, long aerobic, just do some lengths kind of sessions. Because they're not particularly exciting. Um it's hard to get excited about um yeah, just doing as I did in here, four ones, four hundred, four four rounds, um, because Obviously, the the excitement is in swimming fast or lifting weights or any, anything like that. Um, we're going to kind of talk through some of my thoughts on aerobic swimming. Um, but to start with, this was part of the prep. So the rest of the the team, apart from Calderbank, who's racing at the um, AP race this weekend, which is on this is on Monday, Bank Holiday Monday, big hundred fly then. Um, but the rest of the team, apart from me and her, we we're on. They were on thirty fifties. Uh, at 200 pace, so they run a a big session. So the Tuesday night had been tough, um, and yeah, they were going tough, hard Monday, hard when Tuesday, hard Wednesday. Was I just hard Monday, hard Tuesday? Um, yeah. So so this kind of this uh, little prep set was really for for them to get them like the the top top level of those doors opened. Um, so it's uh, underwater. You can call it a sub and return. So it's underwater as far as you kind of as far as you want. With these, quite often we'll go underwater out and underwater back, and it's just about distance. So me and Ruben on a training camp once did a hundred meters underwater with fins, which is pretty, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty tough. But this is like underwater out to fifteen twenty ish. So it just puts you under a little bit of uh, hypoxic pressure, and then turn around and sprint back into the wall. Just went one fly, one free, just to yeah, just to have a have a go, really. Uh, and then we get into the the main set. So the main set was yeah, four hundred four point rotation we call it. So you have like one fin and one paddle, uh, and you switch through all the four points. You've got each opposite sides, same side, and then same side on the other side for four points. So a hundred uh, of each one, and then a four hundred, which I think the first two were. Drill to swim, then one kick, one swim. And those like those kick and the swim were like with a, a slight negative split. So the the second half slightly harder than the first half, but not hard. It's more of a uh, um, the way the reason we do a negative split like that. We call it like negative split A one to A two in that kind of low level heart rate zone. A one the lowest zone into A two, and that's kind of just for um. It's more of like as a mental stimulation because if you're swimming 400 meters straight, it's very easy just to switch off, and especially towards the end of that 400, it's very easy to to just not really be thinking that much. You're just doing the lengths. So having the negative negative split is sort of is a bit of just to keep your mind active in the in the set and and, and aware of what you're doing. So aerobic. Why do we? Our swimmers need aerobic, but more specifically, why do I, as a as a sprinter, as a hundred meter swimmer, need aerobic swimming? And uh, there's a couple of reasons. One is is technique. So 
some of this is going to be technical reinforcement, skill reinforcement. So you're still getting all the, uh, you can use your fly kicks, your no breathing off the turns, the spot in the walls, all that kind of like the basic skills still needs practice. Um, and over a, uh, an hour and a half set that this took, this took about an hour and 35. Uh, but over that, over that amount of time, you have a lot of opportunity to practice those skills without the distraction of trying to swim fast, um, which is which is pretty useful. Um, and another thing is is for that aer aerobic adaptation. Right, my phone's just uh, had a had a bit of a panic there with not enough storage, so I'm gonna try and pick up where I left off. So we're kind of talking about um, an aerobic getting an aerobic adaptation. Um, so kind of textbook wise, I reckon um, to get an aerobic adaptation, you need your heart rate in that aerobic zone. So in that very low hundreds, 120, 130, 140-ish heart rate, which is going to depend for, for different people. But in that kind of range, that kind of zone one, zone two range, um, they reckon that's going to be, you need to be in that zone for 30 minutes to get an aerobic adaptation. Now, that's on general population. Because we've had some training, we're probably looking at more like needing to be constantly at that heart rate for um, about, I don't know, an hour maybe. Um, we kind of play it safe with, a, with an hour when we do like low, when I'm doing low level aerobic on land now, when I'm walking in the morning, um, as we've seen the past couple of weeks, I'm out for about an hour. Uh, and then, as that set's just finished, um, yeah, nothing too exciting, was it? Um, it was all on time. I filmed it all on time lapse actually as well, so couldn't get them zoom in. Anyway, so so this set being an hour and a half means we definitely get that aerobic adaptation. Um, and why why do we need aerobic as a sprinter? Well, kind of your your measure of how efficient your aerobic energy system is is kind of how quickly can you process lactic acid. So when you exercise anaerobically. So when, you, when you're on those kind of exercising without oxygen, so when you're on that high intensity stuff, when we do like a lactate tolerance set, we're producing lactic acid. It's that waste product from the, from the muscles working so hard, essentially. And all this is not like physiologically necessarily sound, but as a, it's kind of like principles rather than like definite science mechanisms and that, that we, don't, we don't necessarily need to know as athletes. We just need to kind of know enough and know enough to be able to buy into it fully. Yeah, so your aerobic system is kind of the measure of um, how quickly you can remove that lactic acid because your body uses, repurposes lactic acid as a fuel and your body would rather use that than burn glycogen, which is what's stored in your muscles, um, or fat, which is also stored in the muscles. Um, so the quicker you can, or the more efficiently you can use the lactic acid as a fuel, the better your aerobic system and kind of the, the quicker you'll recover in between races, recover during the race. Um, and kind of, so there's a guy on, on Twitter, the physiologist called Alan Cousins, is worth, worth following. So he's a really high level, I mean, expert physiologist. He, he work, he's worked in swimming. I think he worked a bit under... Um, Turetsky, Gennady Turetsky, when he was coaching Popov, who was one of the, who was the sprinter of his day, still probably one of the, kind of, in that kind of conversation for greatest sprinters. I think it was like 21 6 in, in just a pair of briefs. 50 freestyle, crazy, crazy fast in the 90s. Um, but anyway, so Alan kind of has done a uh, quite a good tweet at some point, breaking down. 100 freestyle and saying that 100 freestyle is probably about 50% aerobic. Um, so we just need that. I personally need my aerobic to be my aerobic system to be at such a level that I'm removing lactic acid as pretty much as quickly as I'm producing it to last me through that 100 meter event. Um, yes, yeah, so that's kind of why we need aerobic training. Obviously, it's going to depend person to person. Um, but at the minute now, I'm doing two aerobic sessions in the pool on a Wednesday morning and Friday night, and then doing the walks 
three times a week, going on a bike ride once a week. So I'm getting a lot of low-level aerobic um, stimulus that's, at the minute anyway, having been, a, been doing this for a few weeks now, it kind of doesn't seem to be impacting my uh, top-end swimming as much as kind of the doing all of the aerobic in the pool is. So we'll kind of see how that goes from now. But um, yeah, just before my phone gets to bed again, I'm going to uh, call it a day. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you next week with hopefully something a bit more exciting. See when the GoPro's back. Right, cheers. See you later.